The Bible is what was given by God, but this knowledge undermined the foundations of authority. Everyone understood the danger it represented. Vital truths were being imparted. God condemns no one, his love is boundless. We must learn to love even our enemies. The main principles were to be presented as a piece of good news. It was told from person to person when people shared their joy. It didn't need any interpretation. It didn't need any laying down as a law. But people did just that and inevitably became divided between themselves. The community of the Church of the Last Testament lives in several villages in the Krasnoyarsk region of Siberia. The principal settlement is called the Abode of Dawn. It stands on a hill called Mount Suchaya near the very beautiful lake Tibakul. The lovely, unspoilt environment, the clean air and unpolluted rivers and lake create a unique atmosphere and produce a sense of being involved in something awe-inspiring. However, some observers have noticed high background radiation levels. It is suggested that in this district are large deposits of uranium. Many of Vissarion's followers are noticeably in a high state of exaltation. They spend nearly all their time together. Urban dwellers might get the impression that the inhabitants resemble ordinary tourists who have gone on a long trip of several years. The community eats simple, modest food which they usually grow themselves. They eat no meat or fish. The local gardeners have learned how to grow plants unusual for Siberia. Here in Siberia, we have grapes. We have gradually started to grow tropical and subtropical fruiting plants. Is this a kind of Noah's Ark to preserve every species? Yes, all our tropical and subtropical plants bear fruit. Vissarion does not advise the eating of tropical or subtropical plants. So, to their cereals and legumes, the community adds many kinds of berries and herbs gathered in the forest. All sorts of ferns are popular. Working together for the common good is part of their spiritual work. At first, it is difficult for newcomers, usually townsfolk, to cope with this hard farm labour, but gradually most get used to it. There is little animal rearing in the community. They keep a few cows and goats for the benefit of the old people and children, but Vissarion does not approve of the consumption of dairy products. Mainly they go in for horse breeding. They use horses a lot, both for transport and as draft animals. Vissarion prohibits the use of any machines whatsoever within five kilometers from the center of the community. Vissarion himself has a frugal diet. He eats vegetables both raw and cooked, porridge made with water, a little vegetable oil to give some taste, legumes, fruit, nuts, and rarely a few mushrooms. The good health of the community is a result of their high quality natural food and the unpolluted environment. However, even here people fall ill. 
Medical care consists largely of remedies unfamiliar to townsfolk. Breathing exercises, acupuncture, massage and herbal infusions. Houses in the main village, the abode of Dawn, are made of wood. About 120 families live here, mostly the elect. Vissarion's own house, made of logs, was taken up to Mount Suchaya by horse on a specially laid track. Crafts indispensable for living in the community are being developed. Carpenters are much in demand. Wickerwork articles are popular. A potter makes useful and attractive crockery. The local blacksmith has reached a high level of skill in his trade. He has discovered the secret of Damascus steel and his work supplies a demand far beyond the boundaries of the community. The work of local craftsmen seems not to be from the real world of the 21st century. To many, it is reminiscent of exhibits in a museum. Though Vissarion advises his followers to forget about money, for the present the Church of the Last Testament cannot reject it altogether. Work in the fields is stopped for common prayer. In the evenings, the community gathers in the church for redemptive discussions on important moral questions. They are not too embarrassed to discuss even the most personal problems in public. There are many professionals from the arts here. Vissarion is fond of painting and even exhibits in various Russian cities and abroad. There are also in the community a lot of professional musicians. The works of local composers are mostly of a lyrical nature, including many hymns of praise to the master. If God is the great creator, it means that man, being in his image, must also be a creator, even though not on such a grand scale as the father. So if we wanted to say what should be depicted on the banner of humankind, it should be the hand of a craftsman. But if we are talking about present day mankind, we would depict a tongue, not a craftsman's hand. Of course, 
People talk a lot these days, but when it comes to making and doing something, remarkably few make any attempt. Новые качества. Ну, вообще, как бы для меня, вот, например, что здесь мужчина. The teacher talks a lot to us about the roles of men and women. Here a man must be a real man, possess innate goodness and be fearless. Мне кажется, что мужчина здесь должен быть настоящим мужчиной. Но именно настоящим качество его какие, если качество творца, качество доброты такой внутренней, вот такой внутренней силы. A man should be creative and trust in God. A woman should be able to look after the home, bring comfort, give a man tranquility and warmth. Творца и значит доверие опять же Богу. Вот здесь вот все оно перекликается как-то. Вот они должны проявляться. То есть мужчина он должен проявиться вот в этом. Вот. А в женщине. A man needs that, and in it finds his satisfaction, so he can satisfy the woman. When he is a creator, he comes home and stays with his wife, and then she is satisfied. It is interesting that issues concerning relationships between the sexes are resolved within the community. At one of the spring festivities, men and women gather in two big circles and mediators make their judgments. Outsiders might get the impression of some shamanistic procedure. Love and unity, striving and goodness, gentleness and courage, unselfishness and kindliness, light and joy, Loyalty and concern for others. Love and trust. Purity and strength. Joy and light. Work and lifting up our hearts. Honesty and integrity. Candor and simplicity. Trust in Christ. So it shall be for ever and ever. Amen. Come unto us, dear sisters. The candle and the rose together are symbols of the holy truth and the dawning of a wonderful new beginning for men and women. And this unity shall be the token of a great and wonderful harmony in the future. And this unity shall be a token of the strength of our families. And this unity shall be a symbol of their happiness. Залогом семей наших крепких. И да будет единство это символом счастья нашего. In spite of, or because of, such rituals, which at first seem odd, the families in the community appear well adjusted and quite normal. My wife and I met when she and her family had just come to live in Petropavlovsk. Well, my parents and I came from Latvia to live here. Larissa from Lipetsk took us in. And I arrived here at New Year on horseback. I stopped and saw this lovely girl. 
When I saw him, it flashed through my mind that he would be my husband. Though he wasn't quite to my taste with his long hair. We smiled at each other for a long time. It was nice to spend time together, but somehow I didn't think of a wedding. It turned out that we drew closer together. We started to do things for each other and looked after horses. A year went by very quickly. I didn't want to do things in a hurry. We wanted to get to know each other better. When I travelled away, then I felt I wanted to stay here all my life with this person. So we got married. We had the wedding here on the hill. Was it your dream then to have a horse? Did he help you? Right from being a child I dreamed of working with horses. I started riding way back when I was in Riga, and here my dream has come true. You look after horses, you do some farming, is there anything else you do? I can weave wicker work and I trained in floristry, but just looking after horses is what I like doing best. Do you like living here? Don't you want to go back to Riga? No, I have been to visit relatives in Riga, but I prefer it here. For this cause shall a man leave father and mother and cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. Wherefore they are no more twain, but one flesh. What God hath therefore joined together, let no man put asunder. Apart from my wife, there are other women who have feelings for me. I have a good relationship with Irina. If my wife agrees that another woman can come and live with us, then that may happen. The Potter's family are in complete agreement with this idea and the head of the household does not discount the possibility of there being another wife in the home. The community's attitude to children is ambiguous. On the one hand, they do not pay much attention to them, for they are always surrounded by caring childminders. They allow them a few indulgences, and a choice of food and their diet is varied. On the other hand, children are brought up from an early age in conditions strictly limited by community rules. Unlike adults, they cannot choose whether to live in the community or leave it. Then there were brought unto him little children, that he should put his hands on them and pray, and the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, Suffer little children, and forbid them not to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. And he laid his hands on them, and departed thence. It is true that Vissarion does not consider children to be the main focus of his attention. Before we can say anything about how to bring up children, the adults have to change. Talking about doing something well and actually doing it are two different things. Children, in any case, imitate their parents' behaviour. That's why my principal job is to work first on the adults. They need to alter their attitude to life quickly. Of course, they can't do everything straight away, but they have to try. The children will feel the difference immediately.
Viserion never forgets about his own security. There is always a bodyguard at his side. There are many conflicting stories about Viserion and a lot of issues requiring further examination. Looking at the children's happy faces in the Siberian community of Viserion, the ex-policeman, you forget that all of this exists in the expectation of the end of the world. And even he doesn't know when this will be. These people have made their choice, like Viserion. Will many have this choice tomorrow? There is no information on this subject, and there can't be. It is characteristic of man to believe in something special, unusual and new. If he gets scared, he starts rushing about stocking up with weapons and food. In such circumstances, it is impossible to assess the situation objectively. I introduce the believers to a game called lightning. Over a set time they have to master skills that are vital to life, so that they could survive in any conditions, not as a small group, but as a really large community. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives over against the temple, Peter and James and John and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign when all these things shall be fulfilled? And Jesus answering them began to say, Take heed lest any man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And when ye shall hear of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles, these are the beginnings of sorrows. Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father the son, and children shall rise up against their parents, and shall cause them to be put to death. For in those days shall be affliction, such as was not from the beginning of the creation which God created unto this time, and neither shall be. But in those days, after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars of heaven shall fall, and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. And then they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh, at evening, or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch.